Good morning, my fellow fishaholic friends. Heading out to a lake in central Alberta today, I am going to be chasing uh, some pike, some walters. There's even some jumbo yellow perch where I'm heading. We'll see what we can catch. I got minnows, I got maggots, I got worms. So come with me on this adventure. Let's see what we can put on the ice. And uh, yeah, I'll throw the drone up for some cool B-roll stuff. And yeah, see you when we're out there. Pop, 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 pow. I don't know what it is, but it's going crazy. Oh, a little Walter. Finally. Finally on the board with a Wally. Sorry I didn't get the hook set on that, folks, but um, it's just good to know that they're in the area, right? Uh, the old gold dinner belt. Sorry, buddy. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I got it. I got it. Ah, come on. Let go of it. Hey, that'd be good. <laughs> but there he is. He's angry. Look at that tail sticking up on that guy. <laughs> He's a little bit choked. But we're going to let him go. See you, buddy. <laughs> he didn't waste any time getting out of here, did he? Sorry I missed the hook set. I was getting frustrated. But he just come right out of nowhere and smacked it. So maybe there's more in the area. Uh, keep the camera going. Let's see what we can do. They like the gold dinner bell. I had the white one on for an hour and didn't see anything. So uh, that gives me hope. That was a healthy looking Wally too. Get down here now. I'm in 12 feet of water on Wobbum in here. So um, I'll tell you what I did though was I had it pretty high in the column and then let it drop and then that boom he was there. But he was hungry and angry. Very angry. Oh, come on, hit it. No, oh, I need another walleye. That felt so good. I haven't caught a walleye in a long time. Yeah, I don't think I've caught one since uh, I was in Manitoba. I haven't caught an Alberta walleye yet. I'm getting scarce, man. At least around the Red Deer area. I guess I could hit Glenifer and... Maybe I'll hit Glenifer for my birthday tomorrow, folks. We'll see how it does with no obstructions on a flat surface, completely flat lake. And we'll see. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Got him. I got one. <laughs> got me a fish while I was shooting a video. <laughs> Another Wally. Nice one. <laughs> I was just going to shoot a drone video, and this is another little fat porker. All right, buddy, hang tight. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> we're just going to shoot a drone distance test, and uh, eh, that's when the, uh, let's see if we can get him to stand his fin up. Oh, yeah, he's angry. He is angry. Let's let him go. See you, buddy. <laughs> I was, I was just going to do a video for uh, my drone. <laughs> Yeah, Wally came in and... <laughs> That's crazy. That's when two YouTube channels come together. <laughs> he came in and smashed it while I was... I just turned my drone on. <laughs> my drone is sitting right over there on my fishing box and I was just going to shoot a video to a distance test. And he came in and hammered it. 
That's good. I like it. Let's see if we can get another one to come in. <laughs> I guess whenever you want to start shooting a video, that's what happens, right? <laughs> Let's get it nice and close to the bottom there. Yeah, I just seen him on the live scope right when I was firing up the... Now, where the heck did I put my remote? Oh, <laughs> oh man. Story of my life. And naturally, another little wally. <laughs> as soon as I change my battery. These, these are all cookie cutters, like they're all kind of the same size. Here we go. Is he pretty angry? Yeah, he looks a little bit angry. <laughs> Man, they're chunkers though. They're little chunkers. Don't splash me. <laughs> I didn't even have my mics plugged in or I like crazy. Crazy. Sorry folks, I forgot to film an outro when I was out on the lake. Um, I had a good day, it was all right. I had the drone out cruising around. Um, got some pretty cool shots. I filmed actually a video for my drone channel, which is new to drones. Um, got some pretty cool shots there. Caught a couple nice eater walleyes. I didn't realize, uh, I, I went through the regs and checked out, you need uh, you need tags to take walleye out of Wobbermen, so. And I didn't have any. So she was all catch and release and those, those little walleyes were porkers. <laughs> they were good eater size, um, especially me. I'm just I'm a one I'm a one man show here. No one else I have to feed. Just me. <laughs> they would have been good. They would have tasted good. They look super healthy, super healthy. They were uh, beautiful gold and black. Uh, they're Alberta gold. That's what those uh, walleye are, Alberta gold. And it seems like there's not very many of them around anymore. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try Gleniford tomorrow. Tomorrow's my birthday. I'm gonna head out there. Uh, I know you can't drive on it, so I'll have to walk out a ways, but um, I've heard good things about it. I'm gonna check it out. See you out there on the next adventure. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Ta-pow.